What's going on? Matt Savoka here from Awesomeo.com, filling in for my buddy Josh Engelman and bringing you my top plays on FanDuel in the NBA for Saturday, March 26, 2022. An exciting seven-game main slate. Not going to be talking about that Spurs Pelican matchup that tips off at 5 p.m. Eastern. Just the main slate here. And as we often are, we are brought to you today by No House Advantage. Check out the ad on the bottom of the screen. You can get a first match deposit bonus up to $25 when you use promo code Osmo. And guys, also go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you always know when this channel's going live. You guys know what to do. We're rounding the corner to the end of the season. And if you guys want to give me a follow on Twitter at Draftaholic, that's always much appreciated as well. Okay, guys, on the screen here, you see my 10 through 6 of my top plays on FanDuel tied at 10, 9, and 8. We've got three players with a 20% chance of being in the optimal lineup Josh Hart and Justice Winslow are some budget Blazers players that you can get to. I wouldn't get to more than one of them, but either of them have a decent shot at being in the optimal lineup. Zach Levine, of course, a very different type of player. Uh, a pretty solid value, honestly, on this slate. He comes in at number nine as well. Okay, number seven, though. Evan Mobley, the favorite for Rookie of the Year, along with Shea Gilgis Alexander. The only reason you want to watch the Oklahoma City Thunder these days. They both have a 21% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Shea is a player I really like today at 9,800 on FanDuel. He's got a median projection, nearly 48 points, and he gets to 65 plus fantasy points in nearly 10% of our simulations, but he doesn't quite crack the top five for this Saturday. Who does? Let's watch him find out. At number five, it's Dylan Brooks. The Memphis wing player is just 6,100 and has a median projection of nearly 34 points. And we've got him projected for about four minutes more in playing time than what he's been averaging this season, or really over the last 10 games here. Just 27.8 minutes per game over the last 10. We've got him up near 32, 31.2 to be exact here. And we've got a solid production projection for him all around. 22 points, three and a half rebounds, nearly three assists and adding one and a half steals in our projections that would be better across the board compared to his last 10 games and while the matchup against Milwaukee is typically difficult they're 14th in defensive rating over their last 10 games mainly because of injuries we've seen that ranking go down not to say it's easy by any stretch I think Milwaukee ultimately wins this game because they have the best player on earth right now and Dylan Brooks is going to have to contribute in order for them to keep it close at all He's got a solid median projection and is in the optimal lineup 22% of the time. At number four, it's Kevin Love, the big man for the Cleveland Cavaliers, continues to play big minutes here because they are injured in the front court. We've got him projected at about 29 and a half minutes, which would be five minutes more than what he's averaged in playing time over his last 10 games. We just need him to get to about 40, maybe 43, 44 points, and we're very happy if we play him at that 5,500 salary. He actually gets to 45 plus fantasy points in 11% of our simulations, hits that GP goal 16% of the time and is in the optimal lineup nearly a quarter of the time. Kevin Love in that matchup against Chicago who struggles against large front courts. I do think that he has a shot to have a big game here. Get, comes in at number four. At number three, it's Memphis point guard Tyus Jones, just 5,300 in salary, and he's getting a ton of projection minutes in the Osmo projections, 32 and a half to be exact. Milwaukee will not have Holiday at the point guard position, so Tyus Jones' job is much easier here, and we've got a solid median projection really for every single stat for Jones in this game. Nearly 14 points, nearly four rebounds, and seven assists, adding 1.5 steals as well. A really solid chance to get over 40 fantasy points. He actually hits over 45 fantasy points in nearly 7% of our simulations. You just need really 35, 38 points, and you're feeling really good. If he hits 40, you feel great at this 5,300 salary. Tyus Jones, a 29% chance of being in the optimal lineup this Saturday. At number two, it's Chicago wing DeMar DeRozan. And honestly, we're just going off base rates. If you look at his game logs over the last 10 games, he's averaging 27 and a half points, nearly five and a half rebounds, five assists. And that's exactly where we've got him. We actually have him playing a little bit less than what he's played over the last 10 games. Nonetheless, we still have him at 27 points, five and a half rebounds, and nearly five assists. Also a 90% chance of adding a steal and a 40% chance of adding a block here. 
Yes, you need him to get to something like 55, 56 points to really be a value, but I think your chances of getting to 45 points are actually really strong here. A really solid value play. Maybe not my favorite ceiling play, but a player I'm going to get to plenty today in the optimal lineup tied with Tyus Jones 29% of the time. Now, before I reveal my final play, my number one play on FanDuel for this Saturday, just want to remind you guys, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you always know when we're going live. You guys know what to do. And if you could give me Matt Savoka a follow on Twitter at Draftaholic, that's always much appreciated as well. We'd also like to give our shout out to our presenting sponsor, No House Advantage, bringing you a different way to play DFS with player props contests, all 100% peer-to-peer, over 500 player props offered. And remember, you can get a first match deposit bonus up to $25 when you use promo code Osmo. Beat your friends, not the house, by downloading the No House Advantage app on the App Store or playing over on NoHouseAdvantage.com. Okay, guys, let's get into my number one play on FanDuel for this Saturday. And at number one, Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Milwaukee forward, is looking like he's going to play plenty. Obviously, Holiday is out. Not that he contributes a lot as a scorer, but in overall production, we just boost Giannis once again here. A 61-point median projection. You need about 70 points to feel really good about having him in tournaments here at that 11,400 salary. But still, he gets over 65 fantasy points in a ridiculous 34% of our latest simulations. A third of the time, he's scoring 65 fantasy points points. There is one player like him on this slate, but the Osmo projections are taking a stand here against a Memphis team who does not have John Morant, that Giannis by far is that top premium salary play on this Saturday slate. He's the number one player in the optimal lineup 43% of the time. And that's going to do it for my top plays on FanDuel for Saturday, March 26, 2022. If you're asking, where's Nikola Jokic? Where is Jokic? And are you scared fading Jokic if he's not even in your top 10? Yes. Yes, I am. But we're going with the Osmo projections here. They know what they're doing. Giannis is that top play today. And remember, guys, you can always try and play player props contests. Maybe fade these rankings if you don't like them by going over to No House Advantage using that promo code Osmo, getting a $25 first match deposit bonus. If you're looking for the DraftKings version of this video, it's around here somewhere. Go ahead and look for it. We will be back with all the contenders videos you want. And of course, Josh will be back at as usual, going forward here in the NBA. Until next time, I'm Matt Savoka from Osimo.com. We'll see you guys later.